The Cheese Boy 628 Show, starring Cheese Boy 628. Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheese Boy 628 here today, giving you an NU tier Pokemon Showdown battle. And this is actually versus a subscriber of mine known as the Speedy Gamer One. I'll leave his link in the description. He didn't ask me to leave his link in the description, but I thought it'd be the right thing to do. But for now on, I will only leave your link in the description by request. Anyway, this is an NU team made by my buddy Davin or Devon. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your name correctly, but it's Specs Behem, Guts Girder. Dread Plate Skun Tank, which is really cool. Special Defensive War Turtle, Banded Dodria, which is so powerful, and Scarfed Raichu. And now looking at my opponent's team, I see he has a good amount of physical attackers, and I don't really have a physical wall. Although War Turtle's bulky, it can take some hits, and Girder is kind of bulky as well, but I don't really have a physical wall, so I have to be careful for that. It's going to be a lot of hyper offense, just hoping I can take one hit if I'm Behem, and just retaliate with that Specs Analytic Psychic, and just take out something. So that's what I'm trying to go on, trying to get a lot of offensive momentum, and let's see how this battle goes. So predicting the camera up to come in first turn to get his rocks up, I started my War Turtle, but now I'm going to switch out right to my Raichu to see if he goes for the Electric Stab. And I was just being safe to see how he plays. Turns out he goes for the crunch predicting that nice play. And now I'm definitely going to outspeed since he is the Guts variant and go for that Thrash and do a lot of damage. Now here he goes for the superpower, which is a questionable play. Maybe it was just to avoid recoil, but that's the only reason I could see. He definitely should have went for Brave Bird. But anyway, now he brings in Vasculin. Although I'm confused and I have Tangled Feet, which doubles my evasion when I'm confused, I don't want to risk that and I just want to see what he goes for. He ends up going for the Crunch, which does a decent amount of damage, but he does get a defense drop, so I definitely can't stay in. So I'm going to go right to my Skun Tank, do a lot of damage on the Kecleon, but because of its ability color change, it's going to be very difficult to take him out, seeing as I have triple stab on my Skun Tank with that Dread Plate boost. But now I stand with my Girder, thinking he'd switch out so I go for the bulk up, but he goes for the T Wave, which is huge because now I am just ultra powerful. I'm going to get paralyzed the first time, but then get the Drain Punch off, and that crit certainly did not matter on that Vasculin. Now it goes for the Heat Wave, and unfortunately I get paralyzed, and I have to go for the Mach Punch this turn, which does a ton of damage, so a Drain Punch definitely would have taken him out. So it's definitely hexed out a bit, it's not a big deal though. Now I'm going to bring in my War Turtle, scare him out with a Scald, and just go for the Rapid Spin to get my rocks away. Now I'm going to go for the Scald here, and I'm just going to keep going until I get a burn, honestly. He's going to T-Wave me, which will be a bit annoying if I do get some para hacks, but I'm just going to stay in until I burn this thing. Turns out his only attacking move is Sucker Punch, and it's doing mad damage since it's not stabbed right now or anything. But I'm going to go for Scald, I believe, one more time and hope I get that burn, and thankfully I do, because this will be very nice for wearing down that Kecleon since it does carry the recover. Now I'm going to go into my Skun Tank. I can get off a Dread Plate Stab Crunch, and it does a lot of damage. Now the only problem is he does have recover, and since he resists the crunch now, it's going to be very annoying to wear him down. But I do carry the taunt, so it'll be very nice once he's the only poke left that I can taunt him. He won't be able to recover stall me, and I'll be able to take him out from there. But until then, I'm going to have to start wearing this thing down until he goes for the recover, where I can have a free switch and bring in something else. I'm hoping that Dodrio can hopefully take a Sucker Punch, I'm not entirely sure. And maybe Behem, I'm not sure. Behem is pretty bulky, but a Sucker Punch is super effective, so I'm not sure. But he brings a Mill Tank now, and I'm just going to sack my War Turtle here. And if I do have a chance to go for the Skull, that would be great, possibly burn it. But unfortunately, I don't get the chance to do so. But now I go run to Behem, he is a physical wall. So a Psychic should be able to take him out, thankfully it does. He paralyzes me, which isn't too big of a deal, but it will be annoying if I get some more Parahex. But now he brings in his Kecleon again, and the Sucker Punch is very obvious, so I'm going to go right into my Skun Tank. I'm going to go for the Taunt just in case he tries to recover stall me, but it turns out he just brings in Camera Up. Now here I hope I can live the Heat Wave, thankfully I do, I'm able to retaliate with a Crunch and take him out. Now all that's left is that Kecleon, he goes for the Sucker Punch, but I just go for the Taunt so he doesn't recover stall me, and he said he picked Heat Wave for a mixture of power and accuracy, which I can't disagree with, it works pretty well. So here I go for the Crunch and I get that Defense Drop, which is very nice because I'm going to wear that thing down, and I guess he's out of Sucker Punches because now he has to go for the Struggle, and he takes me out, but he goes down as well. 
So that was a fun match, the Speedy Gamer won, hope to battle you again sometime, and thank you all for watching. Like, comment, sub, and until later, peace.